Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, I am here with you and you are here with me, Kiara The Voice, and we are joined here together on the most amazing, beautiful, glorious Sunday. Yes, 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 yes. This is our last Sunday of 2019. This also is our final Sunday on this decade in this time continuum. And this time around, I've really been focusing on releasing really allowing myself to let the traumas rise that are coming up and coming to light in my life, allowing myself to completely have an understanding of what that was and to forgive each and every moment and forgive my own thoughts for creating things in my mind that I've created deep attachments to and actually figure out why or where these deep attachments came from. So this past holiday um, for Chris Mahana Kwanzaa and for my little sister's graduation, I got to go back to the East Coast for some time and spend some time with my family. And my mother recently moved into a new home. And so she had a lot of the things that I didn't take over here uh, with me to California for my old apartment at her house. So I was just kind of like going through, sifting through and I found a lot of journals and journals dating back to like, man, 03, 04, I've really been like writing out the story that is my life for so, so long. And um, I have a few of the stories I was just going through and really creating this deep understanding for where my mindset is now and what I've kind of created as this continuous thought in my mind about how I feel about myself within relationships and how I feel about myself just in general and my energetic power, if you will, to really be captivating and then deciding, choosing what I want and always knowing that it is purposeful for me to share from that place of my own truth rather than that of something that is logical. However, logic does make sense and is necessary in so many different spaces and times. But anyway, uh, I say all of that to say I, when going back into my journals, it allowed me to really pinpoint and look at what my mind has kind of created as my reality based on what was going on in my world right then in that moment. And I didn't have a practice or understanding of what it meant to release a situation or what it meant to really let go of something in my mind. Really, it was just moving forward and dusting that situation under the rug so that I could just continue on, but still thinking and having these thoughts run constantly in my mind because I continue to journal from them from 2006. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this journal entry uh, from a situation. This was my 15th birthday, I want to say, in 2006, where I talk about this. It's also the first birthday that I spent um, and my parents were like in this separation moment. So it created just this difference of tradition of always togetherness. And it was now shifting into what does it mean to create these individual relationships with people who you always thought would be together but are going through whatever their shift is making them go through um and when i look through these journals this is like oh nine so now we're getting into the decade right here um october 28th oh nine and it's just really looking at how i wrote to myself you know, saying emotions going through my head. I'm not sure why I feel as though I'm always alone on my journey through college, but that is how I have to be feeling. That, but that is how I have been feeling lately. I think that it could be partially from um, me used to having my mom and dad night by my side all of the time. And even though me and my dad bumped heads a lot deep down, I always knew he was right there for me no matter what. And just really like, undoing and reading to myself where my thoughts were of this loneliness of the separation and I guess really even understanding this deep attachment to parents you know just being there just energetically being there just being one single force and then being separate forces of energy for you to move with move through grow with to help cocoon you in your moment of self-understanding so that you get to the ability of being able to self-actualize what it is and who it is that you are. But going through these journals allowed me to really say that now in this decade, I can come to a close with that mindset. I can really look back and say, all right, cool. I've been 
continuously making this my reality by writing it and remembering it in such a way that keeps me in a space of feeling like whatever this feeling is, is lonely and lonely is bad or alone is bad or that togetherness is necessary for my advancement. But really what is togetherness without the need of confirmation from that other thing you feel together with? And I think that's where I have to be in my understanding now. That's where I want to be in my connecting now. That's how I want to continuously, you know, adapt to and attach to and attract that right mind, that like mind that's going to be so understanding of the world and all its workings and want so much to tap into that deep understanding that lives within the DNA that we all have on this planet and allows us to be in sync with the universe and the world in which we live in a way that creation is just and we are you know um and and that sounds i don't know what that sounds like i won't justify it it sounds good to me <laughs> it sounds super good to me um and i just wanted to really share that with you all because we always get into this moment around the new year about resolution. You know, what am I going to fix? What am I going to heal from? What am I going to implement in my life now that is going to create the better change that is me in my advanced state of being? Um, and you can't really know where you need to go if you don't know what you're dealing with. And us, our spirits, our energy that's in the vessel that we have is going through something because this vessel is meant to go through something and you have to start to allow yourself to understand exactly how and why this vessel moves and is able to give and receive the energy that can that is contained within the vessel the way that it does and how do you allow yourself to just be truly be by decoding and uncoding all of the things that have happened to you that have created this mindset that keeps you on this vision of this level of fear almost. This film of fear that's always created by you and nothing else. Yes, circumstances help initiate the thought, but once you allow yourself to understand what it means to release, that is the time to begin to implement that practice. One must release let go, forgive, 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 forgive. Know that there is no beginning and ending, that we are all just on this constant thing that is change. Because if we are energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So it just already is. And it's just constantly changing from that egg, from the sperm to the embryo that it becomes when it meshes into one to that newborn child that grows to walk, to become and grow old. And then cycle over again 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 you are constantly in change allow yourself to change don't stick and harp on to those old things that create feelings within yourself especially feelings of doubt of fear of unworthiness remember those people around you that remind you of your greatness and stick with those energies those are your chargers they are your like minds that will help you grow and ascend in so many different ways and understand what it means to grow without touch physically and grow with touch physically and grow just without sight and grow with sight and grow without hearing and grow with hearing and grow with taste and grow without taste and just allow yourself to explore and unexplore each and every sense in your body because that is when you will be able to endure all the riches of this universe because they want to pour down on you. All the riches of this universe want to pour down on you. I know it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it real, 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 real good. I feel good. I feel great. I feel loved. I feel ready to just release. So if you have some things from your past, like physical things still, writings, pictures, collages that you made that 
honor a moment in your time that you really need to just let go of. Rip that up, shred that up, fire to it. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Send it in the ocean. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Send it in a lake. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Send it in a pond. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Send it out, send it out, send it out. Flush it down the toilet if you're in an apartment and you can't get to any of these bodies of water that I'm talking about because you're in the middle of a city. Just let it go, 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 let it go. Watch it go. Watch it leave away from you mentally. Watch it leave away from you. Feel it remove itself from each and every pore on your body. Just whoo, let it go. Let it go. So on this final Sunday of 2019 of this previous decade of our, you know, of our teens out here, you know what I'm saying? It's getting into the 20s right now. And I think that that was a very classic time, you know? A very, very classic, a very, very loving, a very, very intuitive time to be alive. And um, we're tapping back into what that means to be intuitive in a town that's growing so rapidly fast the way that it wants to grow. I love you. I appreciate you. You mean the world, the moon, the stars, the entire Milky Way galaxy to me. And until next time.